All right, if you regularly watch Marshman Masson videos, you know what these mean. It's pool day. Got a beautiful clear sky today. So I'm really excited to see what we can actually see down below the surface of water in the pool that's in my neighborhood about a half mile away. Now something I'm gonna be testing today, I love Texas rig fishing. Really like to throw craws and creature baits. It's my favorite way to fish. And I kind of have theories in my mind as to what those baits look like underwater, but I wanna test a bunch of different ones to see which ones look really good underwater. So I'm bringing my soft plastic box. I'm bringing one rod, that's it. The one I use to flip and pitch, and I cannot wait to see what I learn. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, one thing I wanna show you first before we go. Take a look at this. All right, this is really exciting to me. I have a love-hate relationship with tomatoes. <laughs> I hate the tomatoes you buy from a store. They're disgusting. But homegrown tomatoes to me are like candy. I love them. Well, I decided this year I'm going to grow my own tomatoes. Planted some a couple weeks ago. And this morning I noticed I've got my first tomato popping out. I don't know if you can see that right here. Look at that little guy. It's an exciting day. Can't wait to watch him grow. Now, I planted Creole tomatoes. If you're from out of town, you probably don't know what that is. It's a strain developed at LSU, and they are just delicious. Best tomatoes on planet Earth. In the coming weeks, I'll keep you updated on the growth of my tomatoes. All right, if you remember last time we were here, it was late winter, the pool was nasty, full of leaves. Obviously, somebody came along and cleaned it out. It's kind of middle of the spring now, getting ready for the summer season when people will be swimming here. But uh, it looks really good. This is gonna be a great test. Excited to see what we see. All right, so I've got seven baits I'm gonna be testing today, kind of in the craw creature bait category. These are all baits that I use. We've got different confidence levels in these different baits, but I wanna see how they look underwater. First, we got the Matrix Craw, Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver, the Rage Tail Rage Menace, the Zoom Z Hog, the Zoom Z Craw. We got a Baby Brush Hog and a Full Size Brush Hog. And we've also got a Speed Craw. So I'm gonna be throwing all these baits on the same setup. I got a 3 8 ounce tungsten bullet weight, a 4 odd wide gap hook. I've got 20 pound fluoro leader tied to my 30 pound braided mainline. I'll make a few casts with each bait just to see how it looks underwater. So now it's time to get the underwater camera set up. All right, so I got my same janky setup from last time. It worked well, so I did it again. I've got my GoPro mounted to the top of the traffic cone. I got my heavy flipping rod with heavy braided line threaded through the traffic cone tied to a stick. Just got to turn the camera on and put it in place. Man, I'm giddy. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to see what I learn about my creature baits. I think I'm going to try the speed craw first. Really, really love this bait. Fish it a whole lot. Not necessarily a big fish bait, but definitely a bait that gets a lot of bites. And I know this thing has good action on the water, but I really want to see how good action. All right, so all I'm planning on doing is flipping it past the camera. Hopefully my casts are accurate. Bouncing it back, just the typical way you'd fish these baits. Let me see how they look. I tell you what, it definitely looks good falling down. Whoo, yeah, the legs on this bait just look incredible. Actually, it's the claws, but you know what I mean. Man, I tell you what, the initial fall with this bait is really something. Boy, does it really look good. And you know, the great thing with the speed craw, it's a great bait to cast and retrieve, just kind of like a spinner bait, because you got so much action. That's a good looking bait. All right, that's it for the speed craw. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with this bait, even more so seeing it underwater.
All right, next up is another of my favorites, the Matrix Craw. Now these lures lose their claws really, really easily. They get a lot of hits on them from smaller bass and brim and stuff, and they get ripped off. It's the only negative to this bait, but it really catches some nice bass, and it's got a lot of underwater action, or at least I think it does. Yeah, definitely. Those claws look really good. And of course, the bait mostly sits upright, looking like a defensive crawfish. Boy, does that look like a crawfish. I'm more impressed with this bait than ever, I'll tell you that. It really looks good. And you know what as well, this also has kind of that speed craw quality of looking really good on the retrieve. Man, I love this bait. Whew. All right, hopefully all this is coming out on the underwater camera. I assume it is. Man, these two baits, very impressed with both of these. All right, next up is the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. Also really like this bait. This is not a bait that's going to get you a lot of bites, but it's going to get you quality bites. All right, let's see how it looks underwater. All right, so I got to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. Now I'll be curious to see how it looks on the underwater camera, but here from above the surface, it really doesn't have much action at all. Okay, I'm not a fan. I'll tell you that, in all honesty, I'm not a fan. This is probably a better bait to fish in the winter time when fish are a little bit stagnant, just kind of comatose, not really aggressively feeding. You don't want a bait then that's got a lot of action. Pretty disappointing. All right, let's try something different. All right, there's another bait I have a tremendous amount of confidence in. It's the Rage Tail Rage Menace. These baits don't really hold up all that well, but man, they get a ton of bites. I really like this bait. If you're lucky, you'll get two fish per bait, but a lot of times you just get one. I'm really excited to see what this one looks like underwater. Oh yeah. <laughs> so far, I like what I see. Tremendous amount of action on those claws really nice wow really really nice definitely like the rage menace how could a bass resist that no way whoo man i'm a fan again like the speed craw this is a bait you can cast and retrieve i generally don't but sometimes you'll make a cast and you think your cast is over and you go to reel the bait in and that's when you get your hit i gotta stop fishing this this is fun just watching it. Love the Rage Menace. And you know what else is good about this bait? It smells like coffee. I don't know what that does or if it does anything at all, but it smells like coffee. All right, next is a bait I admittedly don't fish a whole lot. It's called a Z-Hog. I tried this bait once as a trailer on a jig and I just didn't like how it looked, but I've never fished it by itself. But we're gonna see today how it looks. All right, it's a creature bait. It looks really similar to the uh, Sweet Beaver, but the appendages are really stiff. Yeah, pretty unimpressive. Yet again, I'd say possibly a good wintertime bait, but I just don't like how it looks underwater. Very, very little action. And definitely not a bait you can just straight retrieve. Now the bait does seem to be more buoyant. It falls more slowly on each hop, but I don't like it. I do not like it. Also, because the appendages are so stiff, the bait kind of rolls on the retrieve. There's no resistance in the back of the bait so you'd have to rig it exactly 100% perfectly for it not to roll, and that doesn't ever happen. I'll do a straight retrieve past the camera so you can see it. 
looks terrible. <laughs> In all honesty, it looks horrible. I am not a fan. Boo! <laughs> Alright, let's change this, find something a little better. Alright, there's another Zoom product called the Z Craw. It can't possibly look as bad <laughs> as the Z Hog. And I think it's gonna look good. Seems to have a lot of a lot of claw action. Just here out of the water. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. Definitely impressed with this bait. Yes, indeed. Looks really good. We'll see what the underwater camera shows, but this looks good. Yeah, I like this a lot. Nice slow fall with those appendages grabbing some water. Likey, likey. All right, I'm gonna do a straight retrieve so you can see how it looks in motion. Let it fall a little bit and run it by the camera. All right. Definitely a fan, definitely a fan. I don't fish this a whole lot, but I will be in the future. All right, next we go with two baits that I think are gonna look really similarly underwater because they're very closely related. But I just wanna see if there's any difference, any variance between the two. This is a Zoom Baby Brush Hog. I've also got a full-size Brush Hog. Gonna see how that one looks. But right now we've got the Baby Brush Hog with the 3 8 ounce bullet weight. Let's see. I mean, it looks really good. It looks as good as I expected it to look. Lots of action, lots of tail action. You know, you look at this thing, you've got all these appendages these curly tails, etc. This bait gets a lot of bites and it's clear to see why. All right, again, like the speed crawl, this bait looks great retrieved. I'll run one by the camera so you can see it. Nice, looks really good. All right, now let's go with the full-size brush hog. All right, much bigger bait, certainly. Let's see how it looks underwater. All right, as you'd expect, it falls more slowly. Still looks really good, though, underwater. How could a bass resist that? Looks good, looks really good. And I'm gonna run one in front of the camera so you can see how it looks straight retrieved. All right, I've learned a lot from my test, no doubt about it. I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna give scores to each one of these baits. I gotta see that underwater footage though before I can do that. Man, I tell you what, the bad thing with pool fishing is it makes you wanna go real fishing. I just wanna get some of these baits on the water as quickly as possible. And it's a beautiful day too. Absolutely beautiful here in South Louisiana. But no fishing today, all video editing, but I will be back on the water this week, putting some of this to the test. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to Marshman Mass on on YouTube and let us know what you think of these pool videos. I love doing them. I love what I learn. Hopefully you learn as well. I know I've talked to a lot of you and I bumped into you out on the water and at different events and you say you love them as well. So I got a lot more of these planned because they're just so beneficial. All right, until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or here at the pool, we'll see you on Marshman Mass on. Take care.